Hi everyone. So I have been asked repeatedly to, yeah, hi, I've been asked repeatedly to do a, I guess, tutorial for how to put this lamp together. This is the Ot light. I did a review on it. I will link that video below, but um, it shows that you can do this as a table lamp or a floor lamp. Now I have discovered because this is a two pipe section right here when you put this lamp together to do the floor lamp. I have discovered that you can actually change out that and do a standing floor lamp with just one length of pipe so that short people like us can actually, fabulous, don't mind the cat, so that short people like us who want to sit on the sofa and actually use this lamp without having this big long neck of this thing in a strange weird angle that you kind of can't really focus through but by using just the one section of tube and sitting it in the base you can actually you know it works better for short people so that being said we're going to show you how to do that but first things first we're going to show you how to set it up this way so that it's just the table lamp and you can either just set it so that you can easily get it out and maneuver it or you can set it and actually use it so that it is solid and stays that way. So first things first, my son is helping me today. So I kind of caught him. He's a mechanic and I actually caught him with like completely clean hands, which is really nice. So bear with while we get this done today. So he's going to be, he's going to be the model while we put this together. Okay. So grab the base. It says to assemble for table use. It tells you unpack all the lamp parts and lay out with the base A on a steady surface. And then it says remove bolt P, lock washer O, and flat washer N from the plastic bag marked table lamp. So that's the snazzy plastic bag that you get. And you actually receive two bolts. You have a long one and a short one. And then with each one, you have a washer and a lock washer that comes with. I've never used the long one. I kept it. You actually have a wrench that comes with. I use it, but you know, not a lot. And um, so I've always only used the short one. Now here's where this process comes in. So to do for a setting table lamp, you have this piece that is piece number Q and it is called, we had it, where'd it go? insert base adapter. So this piece, it has a strange little notch on the edge of it. And if you look inside your base, lift that up there, son, there's a little notch right here. So this actually locks into that little spot like so with the arrow pointing forward. So you take your base, your lamp and it has a funny little notch on the side of it here so that it kind of locks into that. So when you're looking at it, it actually locks in because down in there is a little notch that this fits into and you're not really gonna be able to see it because it is incredibly dark. But this just slides into there, watch your head, slide that in there, slides into there and you'll notice it has a little risen up edge on it right there. Turn it until it finds the slot it can light there and it locks down and then you lock it in. Now, when that goes on, you actually take this piece and you stick it in the bottom here and actually screw that in and lock it down, right? So that's the way for a table lamp. Set that back up. You can turn the lamp, because as you can see, this is actually turning. Turn the lamp there, you see that that's turning. The lamp will you know, you can use it sitting that way. The nice thing is it's easy to take it off and, and change it out. So that's the first setting. The normal setting now is the tall floor lamp setting. And it tells you to put that in the bottom. So up underneath. That goes in there, up underneath. And I just set it like that. And then from down in here, you can actually see it. Please hold, bear with, we're going to fix you. So you can see that sticking up right there. There's that. So you use pipe B and there are two different pipes. Pipe 
Which one is this one? <laughs> this is pipe C. Is that the right one? Yeah. Yeah. This one goes on the top. This one goes on the bottom. So if you look, this tube doesn't have anything to screw into. So turn it over the other end of that one. This one actually has the spot where one can screw into. So that goes down into this hole and screws into that. There you go. We're about as clear as mud, folks. The directions are very, very plainly written for how to do this step by step. So there's that. And then this particular pipe, which has the little locking section down in there. I don't know. There you can barely see it. That little ridge that's down in there that the actual light itself locks down into. So this particular pipe actually locks in on here. I'm going to get you up where you can actually see it. There you go. Screw that into that. Okay, so, and you can see that it actually locks in like right here. And then the light actually clicks in up there. All right, so set that down to the floor and lean it over here. There you go. So there's the light actually set in into that spot. Don't mind the floor. It's been crafting time going on in here. So there you go. You can see where it locks in. Get it locked in there. a guy right there. So see, even Mr. Does Not Do Crafty can do that. So that locks into there. Now we're going to remove that. Set that over there and unscrew that piece. Oops, wrong piece. That's all right. You have to take them both out anyway. Come back over here to the table. All right, so get back up here. So unscrew both of these. Now, this is the fun part. This is how I managed to discover that you can set this particular situation up so that one can use this as a single layer setting for the lamp to sit on top. Now, this particular piece, like I said, this is the one on the bottom. It has that, but you need this tube to be able to lock the lamp itself into, the lamp with the magnifier. And you'll notice there is not one in there. So what I did, I took this piece, I use this and just stuck it like this in this hole. And if you wrench it in there a little bit, that's a good word, by the way, stick that right in there and just unscrew this piece. And it's unscrewing easily now because I had to really twist on it to get it out of there. But unscrew this piece right here. Hang on. Please hold. Takes a little pressure and my left hand is not cooperating today. Oh, here, this is why we have an assistant. Ah, oh, yeah, unscrew that, son. There you go. That was great. And slide this particular piece and make sure that you keep it that way and don't put it in there upside down. This is this one that doesn't have one. Slide that. right into there and screw that in. Don't cross thread it, but slide that in there. I don't know that Ott even thought to uh, take that into consideration. <laughs> you cross threaded muscles. You got stuck. Lefty, loosey, righty, tighty. You're going the wrong way. I'm not. You are. Unthread it. There you go. <laughs> Doing good. All right. And to keep from cross-threading, all I did when I stuck it on there. Here. Yeah, you do it. I did. To keep from cross-threading, what I did, I kind of held it in the spot, went back a click or two until it clicked, and then turned to thread it in. 
and then just tighten it up and it will fit right back down into that hole as it should and tighten that up there. My helpy helperton is not being overly healthy right now. But so you just screw that in there until it sets itself right where it needs to sit just like that. And again, this piece originally goes into the bottom of the other tube. It comes that way already inserted, but it will unscrew. So unscrew it out of that tube, screw it into the bottom of this one, and mount that right there so that you then have the upper tube now sitting locked in perfectly as soon as he gets it done. Working on it. There you go. Nice. Had to lighten it up. I did not know you had all those burns on your arm from working. What the heck? Chevy's burns. Wow. My favorite. Mm, lovely. Oh, so, now you'll notice that that is anchored in there really, really tight. And you now have this piece that the lamp top needs to lock into. So, short people can now sit this on the floor and you can sit on, say, your cushy sofa, your favorite chair, go. and have that angled up at the, right, at the right angle to be comfortable. So, and the lamp will actually <laughs> lock in. Cord away from the arrow. When one gets there so now that is nice and sturdy so that when you pick up your lamp or do anything it stays thank you very good it stays lit and that's just with a single tube and the floor mount fabulous but actually working like one wants it to and like i said for short people we're gonna put this down for one second for short people that actually gives you three different options for your lamp one as just basically a table lamp Two as a floor lamp with two complete sections of tubing or switch out the guts to the bottom of that pole and put them into this pole and now you've got a shorter floor lamp for those short people that uh, have a hard time actually um, you know being short period and being able to use this floor lamp properly and Having been that person, I can tell you that when you use that lamp, uh, when you use this ot light in the full-on floor position and you're trying to sit like on your sofa or in a chair and do something like diamond painting or crocheting or something like that, being that short, the arc of this neck sitting with it with the two poles is very, very uncomfortable because for whatever reason, the angle of it is just not right. And then the magnifier, especially if you're wearing glasses normally, but still need the magnifier, this particular arc of the neck, when it's pulled down, it still doesn't hit in the right spot in your lap. So I just sort of went to fussing around one day and discovered that I could interchange the guts for those because you can't trade out the two different pipes because it doesn't lock down and be tight because you need to screw that in from the bottom down here and then you need that weird little lip up here at the top of this pole to be able to lock the the lamp part into so just fussing around one day and discovered i could actually unscrew the guts from that and screw it into that one and then lock it into the base and it stays just like i wanted to so there's that. I will add all the links to the my original review and we'll put that there and hopefully that helps you guys out. So yeah, thanks for helping son. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there, wave to the people. You missed. Get in there. There you go. All right. Thanks everybody. Thanks for watching. I will talk with y'all later. Bye now.